Okay, well, you might be more enthusiastic than I am, but take it away. On me? Yeah, you're on, I think. <laughs> I just... This is seminar, seminar for all these so-called voters out here that think you know enough to even choose one of these assholes that we got to choose from. If you ask me, one of them, it's even worth even getting out there for. I guess the Palestine but, News Network, <laughs> the Palestine News Network aired a Mitt Romney Mother Jones speech about Palestine. It was he butchered the issue, of course. Are you listening? Listen. America needs to be the land of the free and the home of the free. Yeah, America is the land of the slaves and the home of the cowards. You know what I feel? They need any permission from some government agency bureaucrat to do practically anything. And where they have it, nationalist after all. I'm, 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 I'm just a normal Muslim. I'm not as an Israeli Jewish nationalist. I'm not a Saudi Arabian nationalist. And I'm not an American nationalist. I, I'm a normal Muslim who adheres to the Quran and the Sunnah. That's, that's the only two sources of Sharia law that were during the time of the uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad Salahu Alaihi with Salam and the uh, companions. So what are you talking about? Are you a pseudo-American or a pseudo-American? 
We are so supposed to America, and we know America lives on the same definitions of freedom. Because there's patriots and patriots in our side. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Americanism. And love the principles behind yeah. them. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta give yourself a label and, and join a team if you if you're an American nationalist. I get it. And socialist Americans are the ones who do understand these definitions, but they just want the government to wrap their ass all day and give them their little apple. Which which religious political organization can I join? History of American nationalism? Because that's what I'm going to call it.